So you know how when you're sitting in the corner of a room and there's that really sharp sunbeam coming across and you can see those lovely little motes of dust that are falling down <laughs> delicately through the sunbeam? Yes. Yeah, that's my underwear. <laughs> SpaceX has taken reusability to a level we never imagined possible. They reuse not only the rocket, but also the suit that astronauts wear aboard the ISS. It's hard to believe that, for SpaceX, a sensitive personal item like underwear can be reused and even shared with other astronauts. The astonishing invention promises to be a game-changer in solving NASA's persistent problem, space debris. So what do astronauts think about that? Find out everything in today's episode. It's hard to believe that one day we'll all have another life on other planets. As we continue to explore the universe and develop new technologies, the possibility of extraterrestrial colonization becomes more tangible. From reusable rockets to advanced touchscreen interfaces, companies like SpaceX are helping chart a new course for our involvement with space travel. This innovation even includes something as overlooked, yet incredibly vital, as spacesuits. To date, the company has developed two basic types of spacesuits for space exploration. The Extravehicular Activities EVA spacesuit, and the Intravehicular Activity IVA spacesuit. While the EVA suit is used for a spacewalk, the IVA suit is dedicated to use inside the vehicle during launch and landing, as well as during rendezvous and docking procedures. Its purpose is to provide astronauts with a bit more mobility inside the spacecraft as well as to provide them with some protection in the event of an accident, such as a depressurization of the spacecraft. SpaceX began developing the IVA suit, known as Starman, in February 2015. Unlike the traditional NASA suits, each of the Crew Dragon suits is tailored to each astronaut, using a design created by a Hollywood costume designer. Starman's suit is a pleasant one-piece white style that is considerably slimmer than NASA's bulky orange pumpkin flight suit, also known as the Advanced Crew Escape Suit. The suit's thinness is due to the use of new lightweight materials that give greater protection in a lighter weight, more flexible design. These suits are not just uniforms. They are high-tech components that integrate with the vessel's systems. As such, they are made of fire-resistant Kevlar and Nomex. A single connection point on the leg of the astronaut provides vital connections for both air and power. Even the gloves are advanced technology designed to work with touchscreen controls used by SpaceX. So far, the Starman suit has still been serving for SpaceX's Crew Dragon missions to the ISS, reflecting its high safety and reliability. On Halloween, Jared Isaacman revealed an exciting new piece of information about SpaceX's suit. SpaceX is all about reusability. Not just the rockets and spacesuits, but even the underwear called comfort garments. Can't tell you how many astronauts I have shared comfort garments with at this point. Isakman's sharing manifests that SpaceX's reusability is truly reaching a level we never imagined. It's unbelievable that for SpaceX, a sensitive personal item like underwear can be reused and shared with others. This is totally different from the experiences that a Canadian retired astronaut Chris Hadfield underwent. In an interview with Conan on TBS 10 years ago, he humorously shared that there's no laundromat in space, so the International Space Station's residents fling laundry into space to burn up in re-entry. We, uh, we just wear our clothes till they wear out, and then you throw them in the trash, and the trash is like a little unmanned resupply ship. And when it gets full of trash, then we close the hatch and it undocks and backs away and, uh, and falls down into the atmosphere. So your dirty laundry actually gets incinerated in the atmosphere. This is obviously a big matter. A crew of six astronauts generates approximately 409 kilograms of clothing waste annually. This includes items like workout clothes, which are changed frequently due to sweat accumulation. Before the dirty laundry can be ejected into space, it has a tendency to pile up. According to NASA, all of these dirty garments can cause storage and weight problems, and lint from cotton fibers can clog filters. Then there's the smell. Therefore, SpaceX's invention regarding reused underwear has made a big revolution in spaceflight because it can solve a painful problem, space debris. From there, they could go further by applying that technology to extend the life of astronauts' clothes aboard the ISS even longer. Following the IVA suit, 
SpaceX has since evolved its design into the EVA suit. It was first revealed on May 4th and was introduced as designed for the Polaris Dawn mission, a private crewed spaceflight operated by SpaceX on behalf of Shift 4 CEO Jared Isaacman. The mission witnessed the first commercial spacewalk using this brand new spacesuit, which took place on Thursday, September 12th. The test went very well, and post flight data analysis is still underway. According to SpaceX, the new EVA astronaut suits are more innovative and an overall improvement from SpaceX's previous ones. It's kind of like a suit of armor made of fabric. SpaceX principal spacesuit engineer Eric Krauss says in a new video the company posted to X. While based on the IVA suit, the EVA suit's soft portions become rigid when pressurized, requiring flexure and rotational joints for ease of movement. This aims to avoid of making the suit become something like NASA's traditional suits, whose comfort is not the concern, astronaut survival is. By contrast, for SpaceX, the comfort also plays a vital role. As Elon Musk shared, because if you just inflate the suit, you know, you just basically, you know, you're kind of like one of those, like, uh, balloons at a party or something, you know. Uh, <laughs> so it's, it's quite hard to make the, to still be mobile in an inflated suit um, and um, ha have the joints move and stuff. This difference largely stems from their intended purposes and the environments they are designed for. NASA's spacesuits, particularly the Extravehicular Mobility Unit, EMU, are designed primarily for short-duration spacewalks, extravehicular activities, or EVAs, in low Earth orbit, such as those conducted at the International Space Station. On the other hand, SpaceX's vision includes supporting missions that may involve longer durations on other planets, such as Mars. This requires a suit that can accommodate the physical demands of extended wear in various activities, making comfort a priority. There are many challenges in designing such types of suits, so testing the suit should be the focus of the entire privately funded five-day mission. Moreover, maintaining the suit under suitable pressure also aims to protect them from ironic situations. A typical example is the case of the Soviet cosmonaut Alexei Leonov, who was the first person to walk in space and spent 12 minutes outside his spacecraft on the 18th of March, 1965. His mission showed some of the risks associated with designing spacesuits. By the end of the spacewalk, Leonov's suit had inflated in the vacuum of space to the point where he could no longer fit back in the airlock. He had to manually release air to get inside. Another feature of the SpaceX brand new suit is the additional Faraday layer or a conductive cage around the suit that shields it from external electric fields. SpaceX's Christ Trigg stated that one more issue is crew thermal comfort during EVAs. The suit will be exposed to an extreme thermal environment, and the suit's interior must be ensured to be comfortable and safe to touch. The helmet features a heads-up display with a transparent screen. This provides critical telemetry to the crew, including pressure, temperature, and relative humidity, without obstructing the astronaut's view. It also features coatings for astronaut safety. The EVA suit visor is made of polycarbonate and is coated with copper and ICO, or indium tenoxide, said Krauss. These two coatings together reflect the sun away from the crew, as well as reflecting infrared heat back to the crew when they are facing deep space. To create such a great type of spacesuit, SpaceX, as well as the Polaris team, has made efforts around the clocks for two years. Mentioning the difficulties during those two years, Isakman shared that. We started with what looked like an IVA suit. Every week you'd come in and you've got different materials on the left arm versus the right arm, different rotator on the left arm, different wrist mechanisms, and it was so much trial and error. Sarah and I have spent 100 plus hours pressurizing the suits over the last couple of years, just going through the design iteration to ultimately arrive at where we are today which is really decent dexterity in the fingers, very good mobility, good flexibility, even down to the knees, waist. We went to White Sands Missile Range probably a year and a half ago as they were firing one millimeter aluminum balls at near orbital velocity speeds to see what would happen if an MOD strike happened on a variety of materials, including the visors. So it's been an evolution, I'd say. Through those shares, we can understand how dedicated the group is to this work. Hard work paid off, SpaceX's EVA suit, although just in its first generation, can meet the mission's strict requirements 
and be the game changer for space flight. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time.